Hi, if you're looking for that how to convert PowerPoint file to PDF file without internet connection, then this video is for you. Welcome back. I hope you are doing well and safe. So in this video, we are going to talk about that how you can convert your PowerPoint to PDF without internet connection. So let's get started. Dear friends, for example, this is my PowerPoint file. Now I want to convert this into PDF file. So there are three different ways which you can use to convert your PowerPoint file to PDF file. So first of all, you have to go to the file and then go to the export. Once you click on export, you can see here option create PDF XPS document. Now click on create PDF XPS document. Once you click on it, it will ask you that where you want to save this file. For example, I want to save this file in my PDF files folder. Then I can save my file over here. Now before saving my file, I want to show you some other options. So you have to click on options. Now uh, there are different options which you can use to save your PDF file in different format in different uh, styles. For example, if you want to save all your uh, slides and you have to uh, select all. If you want uh, to save current slide, then you have to select current slide. If you want to make selection, for example, you want to save uh, uh, one, uh, five, uh, seven slides, you can uh, go for the selection uh, method. And if you want to uh, select slides from one to two, one to five, then you can select this option. So there are different options which you can select. Uh, and uh, uh, how you want to publish your uh, PDF file, or uh, you want to uh, see your PDF file in slides format, then you have to click slides. If uh, you want to in handouts, you have to select handouts. Or if you want to uh, save the your uh, PPT into PDF with notes given, then you have to select on the notes pages. And if you want to uh, save your file in outline view, then you have to select outline view. So you can select any, any option as you want. There are other options which you can explore by yourself. Then you have to click on uh, save. Okay. Once you click on save, then you have to click on publish. Now this file has been saved in your folder. Next method is that you have to again go to the file and then click on print. And in the printer section, you have to select uh, Microsoft print to PDF. And then you have to click on print. And again, you have to give a file name. For example, I'm giving this as ABC and then click on save. Last method is that you have to click on file and then click on save a copy. And then you have to change the file format from PPT to PDF. And then uh, you have to browse the folder in which you want to save. For example, I want to save this file over here. Let me give this EDC. And then again, you can also change option here as well as you did before. So you can click on the options and you can uh, change the option uh, style. Okay. And also you can change the size, the standard publishing online and printing and minimum size if you want to use the minimum space and then you have to click on the save option. Okay. Now I want to show you one other thing which is important. If you want to send this PPT into PDF, by email without saving this file into PDF, you want to send this file via email to anyone. Okay. So how you can do this, you have to uh, access to the uh, quick toolbar. Actually, it is uh, showing over here. If you are unable to show your quick access toolbar, then you have to click right over here and you can set it uh, show quick access toolbar because it is already shown on my screen. So I'm unable to add it again or showing it again. Okay. You have to click on customizer ribbon. Once you click, then you have to click on quick access toolbar, and here you have to go to the all commands. Once you go to the all commands, all commands are shown over here. Now you have to select that uh, uh, sent by an email, a PDF file. You have to select that option. So let me search first. Now see here, it is showing email as a PDF attachment. You have to click on this, and you have to click add, and then you have to click OK. 
now you can see this uh, this icon is added over here it is showing that is uh, email as a pdf attachment once i click on this it will directly open my outlook and with the help of outlook i directly uh, uh, insert the email of the people to whom i want to send this file so you have to click on send so your file has been sent in that pdf file without saving it in that pdf so these all are different methods which you can use to convert your ppt file into the pdf file if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box below if you still did not subscribe my youtube channel then kindly subscribe see you in the next video take care allah is